What's up guys? So it is currently like four thirty in the morning on Monday morning and my insomnia is really bad right now. I feel somewhat tired but not enough to actually be able to fall asleep. And I was basically laying in my bed with all the lights off, no noise, and nothing else going on for like two and a half hours. And I had my eyes closed pretty much the whole time, and I still couldn't fall asleep. I think my insomnia, I think it's, tonight's been like the worst night in a long time. Yeah, I know for a fact I haven't fallen asleep yet. And, I mean, I do feel a little bit tired, but I haven't feeling this amount of tired for like, at least, yeah, like two hours. So, and it hasn't changed either. And, yeah, so. Basically about it, I mean, insomnia sucks. For those of you who don't suffer from insomnia, you guys should be very thankful because it sucks it will keep you up literally all night no mercy and for the people who do have insomnia they know exactly what I'm talking about and they also know it sucks. No, I have not tried any sleep aid. Because simply we don't have any. I believe we have melatonin, but it's in my grandma's room and my grandma's asleep. So. And her room is like obviously completely dark so I can't see shit and yeah I know we don't have NyQuil or uh ZZQuil but there's like nothing I can do except for just lay here and Try to doze off. I mean, I've been yawning, and I've gotten to the point where I almost fell asleep once, but nothing disturbed me or nothing. I just woke back up again. I don't know why, or anything like that. It just happened. But, I don't know, I think my last resort, uh, idea I got is to read a chapter or two out of a book that my uncle bought me, like, last year ago, and I believe, I believe it's called The Shipping News, yeah, it's called The Shipping News. So I think I might read a chapter or two out of that. I haven't read it in a long time. I think it's been like three or four months since I opened it up. Which I am reading it, but not as much as I told my uncle I would. 
my I have red flag of my fourth or fifth chapter knew it but there's a lot of chapters so so I can barely made a dent. But yeah guys Somnia sucks. I can't stress that enough to you. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go for now. Hopefully I can catch a couple hours of sleep. I'm hoping. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you go from there. I'll, uh, get my book. And, uh, pretty much it. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Anyways, alright, so I decided to go with a uh, bit of a different book because, uh, well, um, the shipping news seemed a little bit too heavy, as in, like, uh, I didn't really want anything, like, too, uh, I can't figure out what the word, um, not complicated, but too sophisticated to read. I wanted something more fun, something a little bit more like, I don't know. I, I, I didn't want anything, I didn't, I didn't feel like reading anything serious. So I decided to go with a classic of mine. It's not really a classic of yours, but I'm pretty sure, but saw this and I forgot that I didn't finish reading it so I'm gonna decide to finish reading it. Diving on the kid, Chad and Fever. Yeah, I'm about a little over halfway through. But I know it's a kid's book but like I said it's something fun to read and read a couple of whatever out of it. I guess they're called chapters. But, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna read some of this and, uh, hopefully it'll, uh, get me uh, drowsy enough so I can fall asleep here. Hope for the best. And seven hours later, I'm awake. So, yeah, the book did help. Uh, somewhat. I read like three chapters out of it, felt drowsy, laid down, fell asleep. Woke up about 12.30 p.m. Um, I'm not really too sure exactly what time it is now. I think it's like 1, one thirty or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, so today is laundry day, found out, because my hamper is completely full. So, I'm going to go bring it into the laundry room and take care of it so I'm gonna go for a little bit of a ride sorry you let the take around my dirty clothes for 30 seconds so here we go all right now we're in the laundry room so uh let's do this so for um laundry detergent I usually use this stuff right here for now so Sun Triple Clean Mountain Fresh. I think it's the uh, half gallon or something like that. Uh, yeah, I'm not really too sure. But anyway, I'm gonna be using this and uh, yeah, you guys are shaking a little bit. Sorry, right. so to wash it. Um, cup. Hold up the cup. And, and, and then, I'm going to wash it with my clothes. So, 
just filled up the washer. I'm close. Now I'm going to spin the dial. Turn it on. Add the studs. Well, now I gotta wait for this to be done, uh, or uh, the dryer to be done, because uh, by the time the dryer is done, uh, the washer should be done, and uh, yeah, so usually my hamper has, it, when it's filled, it's about two loads, so yeah, anyway. Down here. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm probably gonna edit yesterday's video and uh, watch some YouTube videos and TV. So I right, just got done editing, waiting for it to encode, and I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. Alright guys, so yesterday's video is all uploaded, so go check it out. Link to it is in the description below, so go check that out as well while you're at it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really know what's going on after that. Alright, first load. This is the before. All clean in the hamper. After. I'm gonna do an after shot of like when the clothes was all uh, uh, folded up and everything, but I forgot I was gonna do a before that I already did uh, a before shot. So I already put the clothes away, the first load except for the socks over there because there's still some socks in the dryer that match up with those socks. So gotta wait for those clothes to dry and then I can match all the socks up accordingly but yeah um i forgot i did a per i did a before shot so all the clothes are put away from that uh last from the first load but yeah anyways um first load is all clean and folded just gotta wait until the other is uh dry um i don't really hear the dryer going on so i think it may be done now but yeah pretty much it uh, i'm gonna wait for those clothes to dry and then fall goes up, and then uh, laundry day is going to be uh, done. I usually do laundry day like once every week and a half. Because uh, you know, I don't change my clothes really every day. I mean, like my underwear I change every day. But like shirts and uh, jeans, I really, uh, half the time I don't change those every day. Um, with t-shirts, um, yeah, with t-shirts and my t-shirts and uh, jeans, um, I usually just uh, 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 change those when uh, they get dirty, um, but I used to be like I change them like every day no matter what, but no, I, I only do that with uh, my underwear, like boxers and uh, socks, but yeah, with uh, yeah, pants and uh, shirt, I usually only change those when they get dirty. Or when I take a shower, I want to have nice clean clothes to wear. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, I think in a little bit here, Ryan's going to be wanting to hang out. And uh, I think Melissa as well. We're going to go skateboard again for a little bit. So, yeah, it should be pretty chill. But, anyways. Guys, I'm sorry, but um, I keep forgetting to do the whole before and after thing. Like, I am no good at it, apparently. But... Laundry is all done. Everything's all folded up and everything. My hamper's now officially empty again. 
Um, so yeah, um, anyway, um, what's happening now is I'm currently waiting for Ryan and Melissa to show up, and then we are gonna go out skateboarding for a couple hours, uh, literally a couple hours, cause it's 7 o'clock now, and Ryan has to go to work in the morning, so, we're probably gonna be gone like an hour and a half, two hours, tops, I'll be surprised if we're out later than 9.30, um, but yeah, so anyways, um, pretty much it. I'm pretty much uh, waiting for that. I already got my bandage on my leg for padding. I don't really feel like rolling up my pant leg to show you guys. Sorry, but you guys get the idea what it is. <coughs> <coughs> but yeah, waiting for them to show up. Skateboards in the uh, garage with my bike, so everything's all set to go. Um, I just need to bring my wa bottle and fill it up real quick, and that'll be it. So, anyways. I don't know how long they're going to take to get over here, hopefully not too long, because it's already 7 o'clock, so, yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, but, I'm going to do something cool, actually, because I'm kind of bored, but, um, I'm going to do a little camera trick, so, they're not with me now, but they will be right about... Not yet. So that camera trick failed horribly. Um, so a little bit of change of plans. I'm heading over to Ryan's house because uh, he uh, he's taking a little longer than expected to uh, do some things because uh, he just obviously you know he just got to work. So he had to do a couple of things and it's taking him a little longer than expected. So I'm gonna have my bike over to his place. Apparently just got on my bike and now I'm gonna head over. Oh. All right. Let's begin this journey. Uh, his place literally is like not even a block from where I live. But all we gotta do is go up this little pathway here. Oh, I thought somebody was pulling up, but it was just neighbors. Um, all I gotta do is go up this little sidewalk, take the corner, and then I'm there. But, I'm going to put you guys away so that way I can bike there real quick. And, uh, I'll see you guys when I'm there. Um, yeah, so, uh, pretty much it. Oh, wait, there's a cat. Hey, kitty! Kitty don't want nothing to do with me. I don't know if you guys saw that. A little kitty. Actually, this is a pretty uh uh easy way to vlog right now. Putting my hand on back of my hand on the handlebars here. That way, uh, just steady. So y'all can see. I don't know why my legs cramping up. Alright, yeah, this is pretty much boring. Nothing really going on. So I'll put you guys away and I'll see you guys on the Matt Ryan's. Even though I already said that like 30 seconds ago.
Yeah. Uh, sure. You did just a little bit. It's around the corner here. Chilling, smoking rig. Oh, I'm not smoking rig. I'm not smoking rig. It's around the corner here. We just got back from way over there on the other side of the park. Park's right there. And we're on the other side of the park. And now we slowly made our way back here. Now it's really dark. And uh, pretty much it. So. Yeah, we're probably going to make our way back up to Ryan's house here in a minute. And then, uh, I don't know. I'm being hanging out with Joel. Yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, Still here in the corner, taking a little bit of a break. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. Anyway.